What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Ben Allen for those of you that are new and in today's video I'm gonna be going over my basic training yearbook guys I was literally just rummaging around the house the other day and I found this I was looking through it God and there's some god-awful pictures of me in here like it is it is not a good time, bro. Basic training doesn't do anybody justice. But yeah, I figured, you know, I just like put the camera over the book, flip through the pages, and just uh, go through it. Just, you know, like pretty much recap and react to my old uh, basic training yearbook. And uh, hopefully you guys get a good laugh out of it or just learn something along the way about reception and basic training. But uh, yeah, guys, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so like I said, I'm going to be going through my Army Strong basic combat training little yearbook type of thing. This is one of the things they get you with, one of the things you can buy after basic training. Found it, figured I'd go through it and uh, just show you all what, what's in here pretty much. So straight off the bat, you know, they have this nice little like cover page type of deal. And then, you know, the Welcome to Fort Sill. Warfighters uh, competent and confident, right? The 434th Field Artillery. And then, you know, table contents, right? And it actually goes down by like phases, guys. So, like, weeks run through three red phase, you know, four through six white phase, seven through nine blue phase. And it goes like all the way through like what each breakdown is. Now, mind you, this was like back when I went through. So, this is before they had the forge and things like that. But uh, still, nonetheless, guys, I think it's pretty cool just to recap, like, to show how much times have changed like especially for me like i went into i was the last cycle to have the old uh acu pattern uniform before they switched to ocp so i think that's pretty cool you know but uh right so just going on through this right you know they got like uh the fire center of excellence commander you know uh command star major also and then the history of fort sill oklahoma i'm not gonna read that to you guys because i doubt y'all want to know the history right but uh, let's see, right, some more uh, commanders and sergeant majors, things like that, you know. And then here they have like a cool little like uh, like little informational section, right? They have the drill sergeant's creed, the seven army values, right? Loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. So that's pretty cool. This would definitely like help you like remember that, learn. Uh, they have the soldier's creed right here, you know, going all the way down. Uh, the warrior ethos as well these uh the four sentences out of the soldier's creed and then here guys reception so as you can see it's like a bunch of people and civilians on a bus you know lined up ready to go you know yada yada but uh you probably be very nervous around this portion so uh just be mindful of that right and then they have reception right so this is like as soon as you get off the bus right this is uh like the week before you go to actual basic training so you got in processing day zero pretty much telling you how it's going to be going over some paperwork and then day one uh probably going to be that same night honestly at least it was for us but uh they gave us our pts and uniforms and things like that uh oh god and then day one again guys haircut and medical uh, slash optical guys like if you love your hair say goodbye to that shit it's going it's gone it is out the window and it, it sucks it really really does uh then you also do a couple of medical screenings and you know you get your eyes tested and things like that if you need glasses you show them your prescription things like that or uh, they'll tell you that you need glasses so that's good um personal affairs is day two right so that's like financial you know like uh wife and kids types of things you know spouses family um uh, day two is finance as well. You set up uh, how you're going to be getting paid, right, with your uh, your bank and things like that. Day three is, you know, your ugly. Guys, I'm telling you, I'll show you the unit photos later on, but your unit photo, when you're going through reception, is going to look shitty as hell, guys. You're so sleep deprived. You're so tired. It's just not going to be a good time at all. So, uh, yeah. And then you also got dental and the hearing test. And for the hearing test, uh, if you think you hear something, you might as well click it, guys, because it's better than not clicking it. I'm telling you right now, that hearing test will have you, like, thinking you're the dumbest person in the world. Day four, right, pre-ship checks and orders, right? They make sure you're going, you're being sent to the right place and things like that. Uh, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. Kind of relaxed that day. And then day four, again, right, this is after the pre-checks, you ship into your basic training unit. So this whole week. Uh, was just getting you ready, right? There's really no smoking going on here, nothing uh, really like crazy or wild in reception, right? But then you go ship to your unit, guys, and you got the drill sergeant right here going ham with that knife hand, I believe. 
Yeah, he's got that knife hand going, guys. But, or he's he's at the ready at least. He's getting it ready. And then you see you got the bags being carried and everything right here. I'm sure this guy's thinking like, yo, what the fuck am I going through right now? This guy's like just got told to pick up all his bags. He's like, hurry up, hurry up. Uh, this girl's running for fear of her life. There's probably a drill sergeant right behind her. Just ready to fucking like devour her soul. Uh, right here, they're loading their bags onto the truck. That's pretty much what they do. Uh, depending on how close your basic training is to the reception battalion, uh, they'll make you ruck with all your shit there, guys. They did that for us anyway. We weren't lucky enough to get our bags put on the fucking the little truck. So, lucky to whoever these guys were. Right, but then basic training begins, guys. And mind you, right, this is a little different from how basic training is now, or at least I believe so, because I know they have a couple of new things going on. But, uh, right... I'll just read this off for you guys, right? R&I soldiers were transported to their new battery, removed their bags from their troop transports, and were taken to their sleeping bays. Afterwards, the soldiers were briefed by the battery first sergeant, battery commander, and the new drill sergeants. Their drill sergeants briefed the soldiers on army courtesies and customs, drill and ceremony, and the expectations of them while they were here at basic training. Basic training has begun, guys. But yeah, so again, you got some more pictures here, right? You got like them coming off the bus. Uh, we call the new uh, like arrivals uh, Skittles, or at least that's what we were called when we got off because they give us these little colorful vests, right? See how they got red and numbers on them? Uh, so they got like red, yellow, blue, black, all that stuff. And uh, you look like a pack of Skittles just running around, you know? Uh, they got their bags. They're over here. They're unloading. Uh, they're all in a formation getting ready to have their bags dumped out and ins inspected. As you can see right here, uh, they're just like getting all their shit tossed and everything like that. Uh, drill sergeants are probably tossing things left and right. <laughs> they're in the push-up position right here, so they fucked up. Um, let's go, let's go, right? So basic training begins again, guys, right? So this is, uh, they start learning the conditioning drills, PRT, right? It's like a way of life in the, the military, right? Like PT, uh, participate in PT at 5.30 on a daily basis while at basic training. Um... During week two, you know, you learn some more uh, advanced conditioning drills, right? Conditioning drill two, uh, more physical training. Um, so you got, they're doing the double arm intervals right here. They're running uh, forward lunge, I believe. Oh, dude, you know this is the bend and reach right here. Uh, you'll learn about that. You'll, you guys will learn about the bend and reach and all of the, the different uh, warm-ups. Uh, drill and ceremony, guys. Uh, fuck that. I... I suck at drill and ceremony, guys. Literally, I would get yelled at all the time for pretty much not staying in step, pretty much, like, fucking up the, the marching pattern and everything like that, guys. Like, it was it was bad, guys. I could not march to save my life at all. But, uh, yeah, drill and ceremony, you know, you learn, like, how to left face, right face, about face, you know, march in formation, things like that. Uh, you're also going to get really good at uh, being in formation with a weapon, guys. All of that fun stuff. Uh, this is actually pretty fun once you get the hang of it because it looks pretty sweet, smooth, and streamlined when you do it. So that's nice. Uh, let's see. Treadwell Tower. I'm not sure if every uh, place uh, has this, but in Fort Sale we have this thing called Treadwell Tower, right? It's where you get to like rappel down this like 40 foot tower, I believe, is how tall it is. But oh my god, they, they try and fuck with you heavy, guys. Like when you're going down, like when you're up here at the top of this little tower thing, you're just like, okay, you know what? Uh, they're like, oh, yeah, these are the old carabiners. Like, they're, they've been known to break and snap. And they're just trying to freak you out. And, like, they did that to me, and I was like, well, if I die, I die kind of deal, you know? But uh, they have, like, a couple obstacles, little rope obstacles. This is actually really fun if you just have, have a good time with it, guys. Like, honestly, it's, it's a blast, to be honest. All right, you climb up here, rappel down, all this stuff, right? And, uh... It's cool. It's a cool. It's a good time, guys. Like I liked it. Uh, TDC, right? The Teamwork Development Course. This one's cool, guys, because they separate you into like groups of like four or five, and these are all these different obstacles which you have to traverse, but you have to work together as a team in order to get through them, guys. Because some of them are like puzzles and things like that, and not everything works. So you have to learn how to communicate with each other and like you know learn what works, right? Uh, the combat conditioning course is just like another obstacle course, guys. They have some pretty cool stuff, right? The rope ladders, you know, hurtling over walls. You got to lift, put your arms over your head and like lift your legs over these little ropes. Uh, low crawls, you know, these little uh, rope bridges. Uh, this is a fun time too, guys, honestly. 
Uh, combat conditioning course again, right? So you see, the, you know, you got a track star right here just hurdling the fuck out of that log. Um, some balance beams, ropes, right? And then modern army combatives, right? You won't get certified here, but uh, you do have like a combatives day. You know, this is where you got like beef with somebody in the platoon or whatever, bro. Maybe they'll let you do call outs, bro. And like, it, it's wild, bro. This is, this like goes hard. Like, bro, like they. They go hard in combatives, bro, because you just pent up, like, rage and anger from being a basic training, you know, sleep deprived, all of that, so you're just ready to let loose on somebody, so combatives day is, uh, it's pretty fun, right, uh, basic tactical training, right, this is, uh, it teaches the soldiers individual movement techniques and how to engage the enemy with their M4s or the M16s, right? Uh, pretty much it gets it builds confidence in the soldiers to like know that they can move under uh, direct fire and effectively return fire against enemies on today's modern battlefield. So it's good. It gets them familiar with their weapon, guys. As you can see, they got the BFAs on, which is a blank firing adapter. And uh, they're not actually shooting live rounds, but it gets them used to the simulated effect of moving under fire, right? And then first aid and sick lanes, guys, this is a two-day event, right? They put you through, like, complete tactical scenarios in a realistic environment, guys. They, like, get the casualties, like, covered in, like, fake blood, things like that, guys. So you really practice, like, your whole first aid, like, you know, BLS. Or not BLS, but you're, like, CLS, right? Combat lifesaver uh, skills and things like that. It's really, really fun, guys, because this is actually... It's not simulated 100% like to standard, but it's still pretty cool nonetheless to get to train like that. Especially me considering like going through, I was going to be a medic. I was like, okay, cool. This is nice. Uh, first aid and six lanes again, right? You just continue on with your training. They show you different carries, uh, things like that. You know, how to treat casualty, how to uh, put them in skedcos and litters and things like that. And guys, this is probably one of the funniest days in basic training. One, because you're seeing everybody just blow out snot, crying. You know, people are saying they're going to die in the gas chamber, guys. Like, it is, it's funny. It's not fun while you're in there, honestly, but still, when you're in there, like, like as long as you're calm, cool, and collected, and, you know, you're chilling, and, like, you don't freak out, you'll be fine, guys. I had this one dude who was next to me. He literally was, like, on his hands and knees. He's like, it's killing me, like, freaking out, bro. Like, he was going to die. Like, it was crazy. But, yeah, so you see all these guys, like, they just got out, guys. Like, or they're yeah, they're getting their masks on, everything. They're getting ready to go in. Uh, they look like they just came out, but still. On this next page, though, you'll see, like Jesus Christ, look at these faces, guys. This guy looks like he's having the worst day of his life. He's got snot dripping out. He, this girl, you can see the spit right there. Um, this girl looks like she's like being possessed by a fucking ghost. Uh, but yeah, and see, they have you like flap your arms and everything when you come out just to help like get the CS gas off of you. Uh, just helps a little bit. Uh, basic rifle marksmanship, right? Uh, this is where you qual on your weapon, right? So you got to make sure you're good. Uh, they are given 40 rounds and must hit at least 23 targets in order to meet the U.S. Army qualification standards. Uh, dude, there was one, there was like a couple like females and males who could not shoot for shit. So we were out at the range like all day long. Oh my god. Coach your battle buddies up, guys. Uh, again, right, more marksmanship, right? So 23 to 29 hits is a marksman. Uh, 30 to 35 is a sharpshooter. And 36 to 40 is expert, right? So that's good. That's what you want to shoot for. You want to shoot for expert, guys. Uh, they just go through all the different positions, right? You know, like the kneeling position, prone position, prone unsupported, things like that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, also shooting behind, like, cover. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, this is advanced rifle marksmanship. I think we did this, like, a few times. I don't think we did it, like, a shit ton, though. Uh, hand grenades, guys. Grenades were pretty fun because, you know, they go boom. But uh, uh, they show you how to properly handle a grenade, how to, like, pull the pin, everything like that, and actually how to, like, throw it you know, for maximum distance and things like that. But uh, this is a fun day. Very nerve-wracking day because you, you know, like, you don't want to be, like, that one person to mess it up for everybody. Uh, some more hand grenades, guys. And then the defect. Oh, my God. Like, uh, you're only going to have, like, five to ten minutes to eat your food at the defect. They're not going to give you a whole bunch of time. So be ready for that, guys. Uh, five, like, once the last person sits down, you got, like, ten minutes to eat. So scarf that shit down. You're not there for the, you're not there for the taste. You're there for the nutrition. Uh, right, some more pugil training. This is, like, pretty much the big sticks that you get to wail on people with. It's, uh, it's a good time. That's, like, another point in training where you can call out somebody you got beef with, right? 
Uh, another confidence obstacle course, guys. Like, you got the Weaver, you know, the Monkey Bars. I think this is, like, Jacob's Ladder. Uh, you got uh, some ropes over here. Like, this is good, guys. It helps develop the coordination, strength, and uh, boldness as well as confidence in handling difficult obstacles that you may face on the battlefield. Uh, some more obstacle courses, right? Uh, U.S. weapons, learning to handle the Army's firepower. So you go through, like, the 203, which is the grenade launcher, the AT-4, which is an anti-tank missile, uh, the M249, which is the SAW, squad assault weapon, uh, M240 Bravo, which is the machine gun, right? And uh, the MK19 and 50 cal machine gun. So this is a fun day, especially the grenade launcher, guys. That is fun. Uh, when you guys try it, you're, you're going to know what I mean, right? Some more U.S. weapons, right? Uh, you get your six lanes, right, which is situational training exercise. Uh, provides soldiers with the opportunity to demonstrate the skills they have learned over the past seven weeks of basic training, right, guys? So all this is like week by week uh, going through basic training. But again, it might be a little different now in today's basic training. I went through in 2015 going into 2016, so yeah. Uh, the squad training exercise is a realistic tactical exercise that takes place over six nights, seven days, uh, the culminating exercise ends with the completion of the 15k foot march and night infiltration course, right? We call it Nick at Night. It's where they're like shooting over your heads and you're like low crawling. Uh, fun times. Uh, Liberty City, right? This is pretty much like another FTX. Uh, they have all these Connex houses and everything. This is where you like put to the test everything you've learned. They separate you, you know, by your squads and things like that and your teams and they put you through like actual like scenarios. You got to go get like high value targets. You got to like take out the enemies. This is a fun night, guys. Fun night. Uh, Barracks life, pretty much they just have it right here, right? Dude calling home. A couple of Joes just talking. Uh, probably reading some book. They're probably not, they probably just got told like, hey, take this picture. Because I don't think anybody would be reading basic training. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think, yeah, she's making her bed right here, right? This guy's like folding his uniform and getting ready. Uh, some more barracks life, right? Uh, you got the female bay right here. Male and females are separated, so yeah. Uh, you got all of this over here. Uh, just some, yeah, barracks life, some more people, right? Uh, this is our actual, like, these were the actual people that were, uh... Oh, wait, no. These are some different guys, but yeah. These guys right here were our actual, like, you know, uh... Chain of command, things like that. This is our captain, this is our XO, first sergeant. God damn, these were these were my drill sergeants right here. These top three, Jesus Christ, first platoon, best platoon. You know what I'm saying? Uh, guys, look, here's your boy, fucking right here. I'm gonna put this up for you. But yeah, right here, this guy right here, that's me, Jesus Christ. But yeah, guys, like, look how it's higher. They look, look. This is my friend Brady. Oh my God, she looks dead. Like she looks dead, dead. But uh, everybody looked dead, dead, guys. We would always make fun of Brady for her picture. But, uh, yeah, they, it's like a little yearbook, guys. So, like, it's pretty cool stuff, you know. Just go through it. And then, you know, they got a couple of highlight pictures. A few more, you know. It's good times. <laughs> Some more gas chamber pictures. Uh, those are always fun, you know. But let's see what else we got. Um, yeah, gas chamber. Some more weapons pictures. Just take it all in. Uh, more grenade pictures right here, uh, getting our ASUs uh, issued to us in BASIC for graduation. Uh, let's see, yeah, some more weapons pictures. This is when they were teaching us how to like do combat with the actual weapons. Uh, this right here is actually, yeah boy, uh, that's me with a shaved head, guys, so uh, rip. I never want to go back to that, hopefully, if I can help it, you know. But uh, yeah, and then over here... You know, it talks about the foot march, right? Uh, foot marches consist of one 3K, one 5K, one 8K, two 10Ks, and the final 15K foot march that signifies the end of basic training. And then you got family day. Everybody always asks about family day. Like, how does it work, right? Parents, wives, and relatives are here to help commemorate the important time of their soldier for family and friends. It is a day of both celebration and reunion. The soldiers have completed the rigorous requirements of basic training and are now on their way to AIT. Family day was really cool, guys. Especially, not really much to do in Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Like, you literally just have the one town of Lawton, which is outside. But, um, eh, it's alright. Then you have graduation, right? 
You put on your little ASUs for the first time. They go over all your awards and academics. Things like that. So it's really cool. You know, it's more of a show for the family and the parents. And for you, just to signify that you made it through, you know, 9 to 10 weeks of basic training. And guys, that is that. That is my Army graduation book right here. My little, my little yearbook, guys. I hope you liked it. And uh, yeah. All right, guys. So there we go. I just went over my uh, basic training yearbook step by step. Pretty much what basic training consisted of for me back when I went through. Right. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it you know just gave you a little insight or a little sneak peek into what basic training could be like for you guys. Uh, but thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, comment down below what other videos you want to see from me in the future. You know what I mean? But uh, again, guys, if you want to reach me on Instagram, feel free to do so at Ben underscore Allen 175. It's the best possible place to reach me. I answer all my DMs. Uh, no question goes unanswered pretty much, right? Uh, best possible place to reach me, guys. So feel free to do so. Uh, it's linked down below. Click it. You know, give me a follow. Shoot me a message. I'm always uh, happy to answer. But uh, thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate it. And I will see you on the next one. Later.